All right, we're gonna come for Havoc number two. This is gonna be a real short video because of the extra voices that you hear in the background. I'm not allowed to go into what I want to talk about. So I'm gonna go into the subject that I just told these young kids as um, PG-13 as I possibly can, as PJ-13 as I possibly could. So um, first and foremost, you do not pick on people, no matter what their lifestyle is, if they're in the alphabet squad or if they're a different color from you or a different gender or if they have gender dysmorphia or all kinds of other issues. Um, picking on people is bad. So this video is about bullying because I just gave the power speech to my nephew about bullying and to make sure that he doesn't bully his little brother. So the thing about bullying is because I was bullied all my life, I've never been accepted and I'm okay with that now, but I wasn't okay with that then. The things that I would do to get accepted was just fucking ridiculous. And now that I think about it, I was like, you know, it's probably better to live outside of the box than being with the in crowd because when the in crowd gets in trouble, they always leave it on one person. They don't take responsibility for that. So as we end this video, I just want you guys to understand, bullying is wrong and bullies who bully you together are not strong when they're by themselves. No, I am not promoting violence. No, you should not catch your bullies in stores and threaten to throw them through every glass in the store as I have done. But it wouldn't hurt my feelings if bullies got on MTV's Bully Beatdown. And you got to have one good round in a ring with your bully. Or better yet, have someone who's a professional fighter bully your bully. Thanks for watching. This is Comfort Avenue number two. Be seeing you.